quick preview. Uh, Ryan Garcia and Oscar Duarte coming up this weekend. What do we need to look for? Who's going to win? And everything that goes with it. This segment brought to you by our friends at MyBookie. Check them out at MyBookie.ag. Use the promo code ATLAS for 50% credit on your first deposit. Teddy, give your uh, analysis. But before you give your prediction, let me pull up the line. So tell me what we should look for, and I'll tell you what the line is when you're done. Listen, Duarte is... He's 26 and 1 with 21 knockouts, right? Am I correct with that? I believe so. I want to make sure. So yeah, 26 and 1, 21 knockouts. Oscar Duarte. He's a, this is what he is. He's a real opponent. He's, you know, obviously. You got it. 26 and 1, 21 knockouts. Obviously, the money guy here, you know, the golden goose, the guy that they want to protect is Ryan Garcia. He's coming off a knockout loss to a great fighter, one of the best fighters in the business, um, to to Tank Davis. Uh, this is a, obviously, if he's going to continue his career, he's got to have a win and hopefully a good showing. Uh, does does uh, Ryan Garcia. But this opponent is a real opponent. He's He's strong physically. He's aggressive. He's, uh, you know, he's got a good mentality, a, a aggressive guy that looks to that capable of overcoming difficulty in the ring, which all fighters should be capable of doing if they're going to go anywhere. He's a good body puncher. Like I said, he's he's always bringing the action to you. Uh, he he loves to use his left hook. His left hook is a big punch, whether it's to the body, the head. Uh, he does throw a lot of single shots, but he will put combinations when he traps you on the ropes. If he can trap, he wants to trap you on the ropes. He wants to get in close. He's not going to win on the outside. The one shortcoming I see with Duarte, and I see a lot of strengths. I, like I said, I see physicality. He's a good punch. He's not a great puncher, but he's a good, solid puncher, and he throws everything hard. He throws everything hard. He's a guy that's always looking for power shots. He looks to get in position and throw power shots. What he comes up short, or where he comes up short, he doesn't use his jab enough. That's where he's going to have a problem with Garcia. Garcia is going to be able to control him on the outside with the jab and look to keep distance with his jab where he can then counter Duarte, who is predictable. I mean, he's aggressive. He's he's not going to suddenly get on a bicycle and you know go left or right. He for the most part he's going to go straight forward, and that predictability with the lack of a jab coming forward can really serve Garcia in the way that his connections, his people wanted to serve him. You know, in choosing his opponent, where he can he can keep him busy with the jab and set him up for counters, you know, set him up for, you know, straight shots off of the jab. That's what you would figure that Garcia is going to do. Control the outside, use the jab, keep the wadi at bay, and walk him into shots. You would think that that's what he's going to look to do, uh, even walk him into his counter hook. And Garcia's got a, Ryan Garcia's got a very good counter hook. Uh, so, at the end Let me of, give you the line. Yeah, at the end of the day, I I think that... Well, go ahead. Give me the lines. Got uh, Ryan Garcia, pretty big favorite here at minus 450. You getting plus 280 back on uh, Duarte. Yeah, look, Duarte, they picked him. They're not dumb. They picked him for a reason. But I also am seeing that the guy's a live dog. He's a live dog in a way that he's a game guy. He's, you know, you can, he's going to give you a full effort. He's going to be aggressive until you make him not be aggressive by hurting him, if that's what you can do. Uh, as I said, his shortcoming is he doesn't jab enough. If you're going to be aggressive, you better put some bugs on the windshield, as I like to say when I was calling the fights ringside at ESPN all those years, where you use your jab to just to blur the vision of the guy on the outside. So when you're coming in, it's harder for him to time you, harder for him to pick shot, to pot shot you. Without the jab, it's going to be easier for for uh, 
Ryan Garcia to pot shot him, to catch him coming in. That that's the one thing I see a big advantage possibly for Ryan. Uh, if he can get in close and keep his hands free, trap him on the ropes, it's going to be very interesting. One of the other shortcomings of Dwight or flaws from a technical standpoint, Dwight does something that I always say don't do. And if I got the fighter on the other side, I say look for an opportunity to take advantage of that. And what that is is he'll sometimes load up. Lead with the left hook. Yep, you got it. He'll load up with the left hook. You, you've heard it before. He'll, he'll <laughs> load up with that big left hook coming in, maybe even jump in with it a little bit. And if Garcia is ready for that, uh, he can time it with a straight right hand because straight beats round. It's that simple. Well, I know Ryan listens to the show, so that's one tip that he should be picking up on right away. Yeah, and that so that's he's got two things. One, he can score with the right hand, maybe in between the hook. The other is he can try to really dominate the fight with his jab, keep Duarte from getting to his sweet spot, uh, his comfort area, which would be close inside where he can do the work that he likes to do. I, I'm going to... Duarte needs to get close. Garcia needs to keep him outside. I'm going to say Garcia gets his way uh, enough to win the fight, maybe even set up a good counter opportunity where it could hurt. Duarte coming in, have an opportunity to do that. Uh, I'm going to take... I'm going to go with Garcia... And uh, if it's a close fight, you know who's getting it anyway. You know, it's, it's ob- right. obviously going to be Garcia. So I'm, I'm going to go with, uh, unfortunately, I wish I wasn't saying that in my sport that I love, but it's a reality that that's just the way it is. But I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Ryan Garcia, but it could be interesting it, and, and at least worthwhile watching because like I said, Duarte's real. He's real in a way that, you know, he's physically strong and he's got an attitude that you want in a fighter to try to get to yep. you, to come forward and try yep. to get to you. So um, what's the under over? Because that might be where you don't have to lay so much. If you're going to bet on this fight, please go to my bookie, mybookie.ag, promo code ATLAS, A-T-L-A-S. The over-under on this one, Teddy, is eight and a half rounds, basically even money, minus 115, either or. Over under eight and a half rounds. I'm gonna say it's gonna go over. I'm gonna say it's gonna go over. Duarte's interesting, experienced enough, tough enough. Unless, like I said, unless he throws one of those left hooks at an inopportune time where right hand's coming. But other than that, um, I'm, I'm gonna say Duarte's seasoned enough, like I said, tough enough, uh, good enough uh, to to get into the late, you know beyond eight, what, eight and a half, right? Yeah.